guys, welcome to this week's episode of Jords. I've been into my life, my mind switched on high voltage all the time. Looking pretty awesome, so subscribe to Jaws. We're putting together a 60 centimeter fish tank, 55 liters. I uh, want to build it to have some dwarf gouramis in there and probably a whole school of tetras as well. So it should be pretty sick. So with this build, what I've done is I've got a secondhand tank actually from my brother. I didn't want it anymore, so I've cleaned it up. Hadn't been cleaned for a long time, so I've cleaned it up, scraped it out, taken the top off of it. Had a top like this on there as well as an aqua one. So I've taken the top off of that, cleaned it all out, sat it over here. You can see my other little tanks. Now, I'm no professional aquascaper, but uh, I've been watching it a lot on YouTube. find it very interesting. It's awesome. I watch a guy online called MD Fish Tanks, but he does some really cool stuff in the UK. So I've just been watching him. So this is going to be my first tank that I do an actual aquascape on. And we'll see how it goes. I've got some stuff together for this tank. Me and my sons went out. We went along the edge of a river looking for some driftwood and some rocks. Now the rocks we got, I'm not sure what type of rocks they are. They were just at the river. They got some pretty cool angles though, so I'm going to set them up and see what that looks like. And we also got some driftwood. So I've got a bit of a range of rocks that I'll show you. Um, have a look here and you can see what they look like. So here's the different rocks that I've got. Me and my sons went and collected this from the river. Uh, I'm not sure what type of rock it is, but it's a nice color. Um, there's a few different, it's brown on that side, but you know, this one is probably gonna sit up. I don't know, on a bit of a weird angle somehow. Very angular, very square. It's like a bit of a quartz maybe. Going through there. So yeah, some pretty pretty angular shapes, which should allow me to um, you know, rest rest them up in different ways to get a few different angles happening. Not sure yet. This one here is pretty crazy. It's got some speckles, different bits of colour through it. And that should sit pretty solid just like that. Like a bit of a headland. So I could angle off, maybe sit up in one corner. This one's just a chunky bit. This one here, this is also quite angular. A blue quartz or something. Smaller bit, so. Oh, this one's pretty cool actually. This might sit out by itself. Bit of a snaggle tooth hanging out in the sand by itself. So they will go together in whatever fashion I end up putting them in there. Try to make it look as natural as possible. Then there'll be some driftwood that'll you know, sit over the top with the rocks around it and then some pebbles and then I'll plant the plants around it and, um, and we'll end up seeing, seeing how they look. Once again, it's my first time making a aquascape. So I'll just try to do it on the cheap and keep get, collect all the pieces myself. We'll see what happens. Right here I have my pieces of wood. I went and collected these myself as well. So we've got some, um, you know, some pretty nice wood. It's got some character to it. Been a bit nailed up, a bit eaten away. So I don't know if I'll use all these bits of wood, but some pretty crazy, crazy looking things here. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll sit them in the tank. That one's pretty cool. I'll sit them in the tank, um, play around with it. A few different, few different styles around the wood. We'll see what sort of um, patterns and designs we can come up with. Sort of gives me a bit of a range to play with. It's not all going to go in there. Well, I might do. We'll see what happens. But, um, you know, just gives you some options to play with. I don't know what type of wood these are. They're just native. So I found them down by the river um, on the edge of the ocean, some of them were. So we'll put them in there with the rocks that we had. And, um, yeah, we'll see what it looks like. Okay, here's two items that I did buy. I went and got a Imagitarium touch LED light. So it's going to clip on the back of the tank. That should look pretty clean. See how it goes. You know, it should look pretty nice. Um, and then I also have just a little pump. Um, it's, a, it's a filter and pump. Has a little spray bar. Says that it's good for 55 litres. So it should be, should be pretty sweet and not take up too much room. Now this is pretty cheap. This is only like $19, $16 or something. So keeping the tank on a low budget, considering I've got the stones and the wood 
all for free. So we'll put this pump in, we'll see how that goes. And then to finish it off, we'll have this light. So I've just added the light, the LED light. It's pretty sweet. So it looks like when we turn on, it's just a touch light. Got blue. Then we've got a mixture of blue and white. And then if we press it one more time, it's just a warm white. So looking pretty cool. Right, we're gonna chuck the substrate in. So as you can see, we've got the substrate in there now. We've uh, built it up towards the back and then we will place our rocks and uh, logs on there. And then we're going to fill the rest in with sand and pebbles and then we'll plant the plants around the back so they grow up. Uh, we'll put pebbles through the front and some plants through the front here as well. And it should end up looking pretty good. All right, you can see I've got the substrate in now. Got two layers there. See the two layers there, we've got some nutrients on the bottom there. We're piling it up in the back of the corner. We're going to have a nice angle like that. And then there's going to be some white sand all around the front. So I'm going to put white sand all around the front in this area so it's nice and open. Maybe a rock jutting out here, like an island. And then there'll be rocks around here. And then the wood will go up across here to that corner. Sort of all angling off this way. So it should look pretty good when we're looking at it from this sort of direction. So stay tuned and we'll see what it's like once we start putting the hardscape into the tank. So I'm not sure how I'm going to put the hardscape in there. I'm just going to position it in there and sort of go with the flow. Make it look as natural as possible from, from what I've seen other people do. Uh, this is a, obviously a low tech tank. So I've collected all the stones and the wood myself from a local river with my sons. We went out and collected it. So it should look pretty cool when it's finished. I gotta go get some plants uh, to place in there as well. Um, but yeah, it should end up looking pretty awesome. So let's chuck some hardscape in now and see what sort of design we can get going. See if we can't start off.
So I think I've got the tank how I would like it. Move some of the hardscape around. It's got a bit of a flow to it now. It's been pretty nice. Stones, some wood, and it's all flowing off to the side. It's nice areas that the fish should be able to swim through. All right, so now I'm going to put some sand in. We're gonna fill it all around the edges uh, and we'll fill it in and we'll see what it looks like. I'm gonna fill in obviously this whole area around here, all around the front and we'll grade it up and then we're gonna put sand over the whole thing. So let's see what it looks like. First time doing this. So let's see what happens. Hopefully I don't have to redo it. So we've got a good few layers here. As you can see, a few layers of the substrate. Uh, it's nice and raised at the back corner, so looking pretty good. Stones. Stones around there. I think I need some, some pebbles that are a bit more, a bit larger, uh, like the size of a coin to, to drop in to grade it down a bit better. Um, and maybe some larger, I think I need some larger stones dotted in amongst here a bit more. All right guys, so I just went down to the local fish shop and I picked out some plants. Didn't get too many, I just got a little bit of a range just to see what it looks like. It's the first time I've put plants in the tank. So I've broken up the root structures and I'm going to place them in the tank and we'll see what it looks like. They're obviously all quite large or tall plants. I haven't got any underlying shrubs or uh, moss or anything like that. So we'll just put these in the tank and we'll end up seeing what they look like. Let's do it, see what happens.
All right, guys, so you can see I got the plants in there now. I think it's looking pretty awesome. Um, you can see these spindly ones that have the red. I've, I've spread them out. I definitely need to get some smaller, like, shrubs and mosses and little ferns and stuff to place probably, like, you know, through here in the forefront around the rock area. Some smaller ones and a bit of moss probably to go, you know, up here as well. But to get it started and for my first time, I think I've got enough plants in there. I think it looks pretty epic. Uh, I'm going to fill it up with water, get those plants floating and underwater. And then I can start cycling the tank, get the heater in there and get the filter in there um, and, and start getting it working. See what it looks like. Then we can look to get some, uh, some fish in there. See how they like it. I think it's looking pretty awesome. Makes such a difference having the greenery in there. Oh, that just looks amazing. Already, I really like that. That white one there with the white tips on the ferns. I think the wood actually looks... Yeah, it looks pretty crazy. So we'll see what it looks like when there's water in there and how it fills up. That's crazy. Looking good. All right, well... Stay tuned uh, and we'll fill it up with some water. Well, there you go. I think it's looking pretty sweet. We've got the water in there. Got to chuck the, um, the filter on and we'll chuck the heater in. Uh, it's got to settle for a bit. It's a bit cloudy, obviously. Um, I'll clean up a little bit of the sand around the bottom. I, I like it. I think it's pretty awesome. Looking good. I think definitely some more plants um, would be awesome. But I like it. Looking good. You can see I tried a few different ways of filling the tank. I've seen people... Um, put plastic bags in the bottom and put cups in there and whatever. I don't know, I'm no pro, but looks like in most cases you might get a little bit of, little bit of upset and you just gotta to touch it up once it's done. Uh, but I think it's looking pretty amazing. So comment down below uh, what, what you think about it. How you think I'm going with this? All right, so I got the filter on there now. A little bit of water flow going. Looking pretty good. All right, what's going on under here? There you go, you can see that filter doing its thing there. Coming some water across. You know, it should be generating a bit of a cycle like that going through uh, underneath the substrate and, and filtering it up. So we should get that bit of a cycle going on. But I think it's looking pretty awesome. Uh, time to put the heater in, get it up to temperature, uh, and then we'll start to look at getting the cycle going and I'll clean up uh, some of these areas around here as well, make it look a little bit nicer. But looking pretty sweet. Okay, so I've got the heater in and we've got the uh, filtration going as well. I've also dropped some substrate from one of my other tanks in there to get the cycling process going. Uh, I've also dropped in some API uh, quick start as well, some beneficial bacteria into the tank. Uh, that little tree in the bottom right corner there is just a plastic one out of another little tank I have, but I've just sat that in there at the moment. It's easy to remove, but that'll add some pre-existing uh, bacteria in there. And down the back of the tank, all along the back, I've added um, the, similar, the same stones that were in another tank as well. So that'll release some bacteria in there. So at the moment, I'm just letting the water clear up, um, the temperature come up a bit, and we'll let that cycle. Uh, and then we'll look to add in a couple of little small fish in there as well. Right, we've just been to the pet shop, uh, and I have got some new fish for the tank. Some dwarf garamis. Uh, pretty amazing. Got some neon tetras and got some uh, loaches as well. Okay, at the bottom of the tank. So, tank's looking good. So, I'm just going to let the fish acclimatize and uh, we'll drop them in and we'll see what it looks like. All right, so we've got some new fish here that I got from the fish shop. One of the tetras has already died, but we've got two dwarf garamis, uh, three loaches, and ten tetras. So, Gonna let them into the tank now. We'll release them in. They've acclimatized. Let's let them go.
Oh, look how nice that one looks. Beautiful colours on there. We've got our little loaches down the bottom here. I'll do a good job of cleaning the tank up. And we're all our tetras schooling in the back there. I've got two more that I'm going to transfer from another tank of mine. Oh, there's three more over here. And they are just loving this tank. These Garamis just look amazing in here. There's one there, the other one must be hiding around the back, I reckon. He's up, up around the back. What I'll do is I'll let them uh, settle for a bit and then we'll come back and film them. Thank <laughs> you. 